Well, you know how I like my true crime. You Always do. listen to a true crime podcast and yep. I watch every documentary known to men. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you love it. This morning I had to move my car. Yep. And as I was coming back, mm. I saw two, what I thought were police officers in my neighbor's yard. Uh-huh. And they were going through my neighbor's car. And oh, I, so okay. I was like, oh. This is my chance. Okay, yeah. And last night, my front sensor lights came on. So I was like peering out the front going, someone out the front? Someone trying to break into my car? Yeah, of course. What's going on? Who set off the lights? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah, was yeah, it yeah. a cat? I don't know. Yeah. So I thought, this is my opportunity. Uh-huh. I went over to said police officers and yes. said, was their car broken into last night? Because my sensor lights came on at around 2.30, quarter to three, in my head thinking, Awesome. I've just given them a 15-minute window. That's yeah. a great time frame for these police officers to work with. Uh-huh. I love that you noted down the time as well that your sensor light went off the night before. So, yeah. so what's so going on? So then they came over to me and they were like, oh, everything's okay. Uh-huh. The car wasn't broken into. Yeah. We're actually sheriffs. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Went right. back inside, Googled straight away, going, why would a sheriff be mm. at someone's house? Yeah. It's to serve them papers. And then I'm like, why are they going through a car? Well, they might be possessing the car. Uh, yeah, and so course. it just spiraled in my head. And then I felt really guilty because mm. I've just inserted myself into these people's lives. Well, I mean, <laughs> you, are, you are right to feel guilty because if they actually were police officers and they were over there like investing a crime, let me tell you, if Constable Crammy was on the case <laughs> and someone runs over with all this extra information that just coincidentally makes them seem innocent as well. You're like, oh, I was at home with my daughter and the light went on out the front and I was looking out my window. You know what you're doing? You're setting up a very shaky alibi for yourself. That, I am not. That in Constable Crammy's eyes makes you seem like a guilty party that's trying to make yourself seem innocent. I am not a person of interest in this situation. No, no, but no, but I'm just saying you might make yourself look like one if you keep inserting yourself into these legal situations. No, I'm not one of those creepy weirdos who stands back and hangs around watching a crime scene and then just waits to offer information. No. I was genuine and legitimate in my time frame and my window that I gave them. No, no but if one crosses your path... <laughs> You look to get involved because you want to feel like you're on one of these podcasts and you may end up being on one, just not the host. You'll end up being the one that the person that it's about. You are the suspect, mate. Prime suspect.